All right, Shelter Woods. Nice. I'm really excited about this. Now, I wanted to play around with some new ideas and new builds. So I'm going to be playing around a little bit more on stream, off stream with uh, No Way Out. Uh, instead of taking like maybe double slowdown, taking No Way Out on top of like a single slowdown itself. So it's not necessarily a, you know, there we go. Oh man, what a start. What a start. Right when I was talking, man, getting that first down is awesome. Um, but instead of taking like a double slowdown and just trying to win before end game, to really just kind of get the ball rolling and then use no way out to secure the late game if it gets to that point. So that's why you see that I am running Ruin. And I hope this helps out whenever we get like a bad survivor spawn. Kind of like this, how these guys spawned really actually like separated, which is something you typically don't want. Okay. Keep it. Oh, wait. There you are. Yeah, I was like, where'd you? Oh, you had sprint burst too. What am I doing? Don't mind me, guys. First game of the day. He takes that ball. Just kidding. It was all a prank. Well, I think I cut, took that uh, a little too wide there. Wow. Brave. Let's push him this way. He ran this really, really well. This also allowed me a little bit more time as far as uh, chases. Not bad. About a 30 second chase. He did really well. I think he just greeted it a little too much. All right. And since we do have barbecue and chili, okay, there goes Rancor, giving us lots of information. Just letting us know where everyone's at, just really quickly. Oh yeah, let's hunt her down real quick. Ah, oh, she did see me, damn. Also, maybe she didn't see me for a second. She is running. I'm going to try and get this angle here. And the whole point of this build is that you get to spend a little bit more time actually in chase without being as punished as hard. Because late game, you know, you can pull everything back if need be. Cool. Nice little slave on that. She might try and go for the vault. She does. Yep. And there we go. Not too bad. A little longer because I couldn't get the stock just right. But, hey, this allows me to play a lot more with the stock. There goes Ruin. Again, this is normally like, oh, damn, I don't have any more slowdown. But, again, we really just get two more survivors hooked that we haven't hooked already. And we'll have a really solid whole minute that they won't be able to leave the game for. Which you can do a lot in a minute in Dead by Daylight. So... I'm pretty, pretty excited to see how it does. I don't know if we'll get to that point if I keep doing well. And I want to pretty much avoid the obsession 9 times out of 10. But not necessarily if he's right in my face. I'm just going to go for a basic M1 here. I think that's the call. Oh, he went, he went around and held W that way. Okay. Mm, he got so much ground. I'm going to try and cut him off. Yeah, I might be able to cut him off here. Looks like he's just kind of holding W and going. Oh, that's exactly what he's doing. Hey, buddy. You have dead iron? I don't think so. Who else is here? All right, sir. Two gens, four hooks. This is pretty textbook. This is what you want to see. Oh, there it is. That, that makes more sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right. Now, of course, if you don't want to run Rancor, you could always run uh, Hex, No One Escapes Death. That would give everyone exposed status effect uh, when the all the gens are finished. We're trying... Hello? Are you okay, buddy? I'm going to keep him 99 like that. Hold up, watch this. Oh, I was hoping. So he might know that Rancor is now a thing, which is fine. Him knowing it doesn't change the fact that we're going to get him later on it. 
One, two, three. They went over this way. Jun, Jun, Jun. And we should be fine. It just depends on how we how we played around till then. He might also be trying to chase me to break me out, which is totally okay. It means he's not on the generator itself. Hey, buddy. Uh. Oh, that was so much better. Let's see if he's paying attention. Oh, he's not paying attention. Poor Bill. Bill, not like this, buddy. This is not going to be fun for you. I am so sorry. I'm a filthy tunneler. Hey, can you ladies hop off? Thank you. Hey, broski. Oh, for the people. What a smart little play. That actually really punished me for doing that. That's really nice. It was a really, really solid play. Oh. Hello. Got it. There's not a lot of places to go over here. She has, what, one, maybe two pallets? And a 45-second timer? Got it. Everyone's injured. No one can come take this. So we're good. And, oh. Hey, Bill. How you doing, buddy? Bye, Bill. One player out of the game. These two are healing up. Okay. There we go. That works for me. He's He's been holding W more than he has been looping. So, I want to see if he can actually loop me for 45 seconds. If he can't, he's in trouble. And he put himself into a bad spot again. Hold W can do really well, but I'm not worried about endgame right now. So, he's in trouble. Now, if I could just get the other survivor down, that would be even better. I'll pick up. I won't make the same mistake twice. All right. Now, if only I can get this last survivor down. Ooh, but she's over here. Oh, yeah. I think I can get her. I think we're good. I'll give her two M1s. Yeah, there we go. By me doing this, it's going to force uh, tap off that gen over there. Yep, there he goes. I'll let him go for the save. I'm really not too worried about it. At least not at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, you messed it up. You're doing the whole W because you didn't know where I was going. Feels good for me, horrible for you. And that's going to be our fourth stack of barbecue and chili and no way out. So when the exit gates are finished, whenever a survivor goes to work on an exit gate, they'll be triggered, they'll trigger no way out, which will block off the exit gates for a whole minute. Which is a long time, especially if you're the survivor with Rancor. Here he is. Okay. I don't really want to be on him. I'm just going to do this for now. Do you not know how to break me out, buddy? We'll move away. I really want to find where Bill went. I could look to maybe tag out tap and just get an extra hook out of it. That wouldn't be a horrible call. I see. Hey, Bill. Poor guy. Do you have decisive strike? No. Ooh. Awesome. The other two are going to have to heal up and get on gens. There he goes. He wasn't really ready for that. And he knows. Oh, there was a sprint burst. Yeah, 99. That's so well played. You really better hope that you can loot me for a long period of time. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I got you from that mind game. Hey. How's it going, buddy? It looks like we might not actually get to uh, endgame. Crazy. I think we just played overall really, really well. She will have to come for the save or try and finish a generator. 
She might not go for it. She might be looking to actually escape. Well, she healed herself up. And we have Hatch. So she saw me right there. Okay. We can definitely look for a stalk here, I think. Yeah, she's in trouble. She doesn't realize it just yet, but she is not in a good place. I know where Hatch is. That's where she's heading for. Yep, Hatch is right over there. And there we go, guys. First game out of the way. They didn't even get to end game, which is amazing. Uh, and Rune actually got popped pretty early. I think we just generated enough pressure, and we made the right plays that we needed to. That is game number one. You'd love to see it. Go ahead and hit him with the GGs. Oh, ooh, Grim Pantry. All right. We can do this. It is a larger map, but there, I should have quite a few hiding spots. So it's really just going to come down to where the survivors start at. And if we can get a quick down and then kind of chain from there. Ooh, we actually already have one. They went right up on the sill. I don't know if they saw me, though. It doesn't seem like it. If they're paying attention, they'll be able, they will have heard the flaps, but <laughs> I don't think they were. Oh, they're definitely paying attention. Yeah. Okay, so you're right back here. Got you. Hi, how you doing? You have a med kit too. Okay. Oh, you got nowhere to go. There's a pal right there. Do you have dead heart? Don't use dead heart. Don't use dead heart. <laughs> I was worried, but when she turned to the right, I became immediately less worried because, I mean, she did not have it. Ooh, you guys got that gen done quick. So, two and two is what it looks like the spread was. That is all right by me. I'm going to go here. We'll see where everyone's at. Hopping right back on the gen. Did you hop back up here? No. You didn't. Good. So, we'll go this way, and we'll try and get a nice little uh, stalk off over here. These guys definitely on the gens really quick this game, so... I think we might get to that end game that we were looking for. Ooh, I can't get a stock at all here. Yeah, I think we'll just go for uh, uh I gotta take the M1. I can't not take the M1 here. Ooh, that was a wide angle. Oh, nice. Okay. Thank you. Not bad. Chase was really smooth there. We got a lot done. Really quick. Uh, the way she took her little line, <laughs> I guess the line she did here was out and around instead of just like holding W and like moving forward and keeping it clean. So she got punished real hard for that. If she would have just kept straight, she would have gotten a lot more distance. All right, nothing there. Are you guys back up on this damn hill? Not hill, but uh, no. So over here, then, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, there you are. Let me get a nice little peek around this. There you are. Hey, you, come here. Thank you. You guys should be very worried. I got three stacks already of no way out. Hell, yeah. These guys don't get to end game, hopefully. See, like, you still want Ruin, too. I wanted to make this more of a semi-meta build where you could actually take this into your games and be fine in more majority of those games. But, well, let me just do this real quick. Okay, perfect. Okay. I will stalk you. Nice. Pretty much 299s right away. Well, I can chase her this way and look to go over there. But essentially, this gives you a end game and a beginning game. So much like taking ruin pop, you now have ruin. No, I mean no one escapes. Not no one escapes. Sorry. No way out. Nice. There was a survivor who was injured over here. They might heal up. Yep. There she is. She even tried to take a hit for her. 
I'm sorry, but you were working on a gen. I must punish. Quick little pickup. We got two survivors who are 99, so they're one shot downs later when I can catch them a little more off guard. I don't want to chase the Fang Min when she's at Shag. That's just a bad play. Okay. I saw her come up here a moment ago. It looks like she left, so she might already be preparing to go for the save. Did the survivor who was over here by Shag, did Fang come to this gen? Yes, she did. There we go. And look at that chase time. Beautiful. That's exactly what we're looking for. One survivor there. Uh, we can definitely get over here and finish off that 99 and look for the down. Where'd you go? You stayed right here. There you are. Hi. Goodbye. Oh, man. It looks like the RNG was really bad for them on this map, too. I don't see any, like, major pallet city in the middle. Sometimes this map can spawn, like, three or four pallets just strictly in the middle. I see one. So, one there. And then, what, do we have any over here? Yeah, this is a really good RNG for me. Cannot lie. This is definitely more in my favor. We got off some crazy stocks, though. Oh, you did leave. Okay. Hi. Can I talk about our Lord and Savior? Thank you. Hi. You should be scared, and you should be running. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, we get definitely get this down pretty quick. She's in a very bad area. Ooh, just before the pallet. Hell yeah. Super clean. Uh, we have a, our tome over here. I don't really want to take her over there. We'll take her outside over here then. She might be dead on hook, though. She's dead on hook. This game could be already over. Ooh. Yeah, they are definitely going to be stressing out. Let's see if I can get maybe around this corner and go for a nice little stalk. No one's there. Okay. Uh, can I stalk maybe through the wood? Not really. Okay. Nice. Another good 99. There it is. Nice. How you doing? Just a little patience to make sure she can't throw me off. These are just really good clean stocks. Chase time is pretty immaculate right now. I don't think we've spent more than 25 seconds in a chase. It's actually really good. Outside of like the stock time. And then two more survivors. They might just kind of play on the back foot now. This game is pretty much in my favor. And to get two gens done before I can find you with Ruin still being up, that's pretty impressive. Oh, they hopped right back on that gen. I respect that. That's a prove thyself, by the way. Almost positive. Now they only need one gen. Maybe we can make this really, really work out in our favor. If I can just get into a chase with the Cheryl, that'd be perfect. No. You definitely need to get back over here. Ooh. I'm a liar. Hey, what's up? Let me just try and go for stock here. Oh, damn. Never mind. We'll go for two hits instead. That also buys the other player enough time to get these gens done. Ooh, nice. She's a whole W gamer. My favorite. Come here. She's in a bad spot. I can literally just stay in here and wait. Ooh, and we have patch.
Damn. Yeah, just a little bit more time here, but I think I will go ahead and take that M1. Thank you. Uh oh. Are you still here? Oh, you're working on that gen. Okay. Oh, you left me. Okay. You went over here. Fair enough. I will come over here. I will let her continue to work on that gen. Wait. Okay. Hi. How you doing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There will be blood. So much. Nice. That was a good little chase on her part. We kind of fed into the chase a lot more than we needed to, and we didn't look for a crazy stock. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, man. Let me see that aura real quick. Okay, she's right over there. No way out hasn't started just yet. And we have Rancor. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. Here comes the Rancor. They can't get out even if they want to. They don't even know that No Way Out's activated yet. Oh, buddy. I was hoping. Oh, there she is. Good, 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 good. She is exposed. I just gotta down her real quick and go for the other survivor. The other survivor might take a hit, though. So I have to kind of keep that in mind. Oh, you're gonna get it. Oh, she's got the pallet. It doesn't matter. Nice. Alright, we'll go ahead and just do the Mori now and let the Cheryl go through the hatch. There you go. This is what you guys all came to see. I know it. I could hook her, but, I mean, come on. You gotta go for the Rancor if you get the chance. And there we go. We got ourselves a nice little picture. We got to go ahead and use Ranker on somebody. Ooh, pressure cow shut. Alright, this is actually a really solid survivor map, and the tome's in a bad place, so they have a pretty good chance of getting to endgame as long as they play it pretty correctly. Based on where I start, I guess they came over more on this side. Just want to catch them on gens. Let me move over around. That's some progress to it a minute ago, but here we go. Nothing there. Ooh, darn. Yeah, here he knows. Alright, we can just go for a quick little M1. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get a stock there, but... Might as well just take the value where we can get it. And I can at least check the gens as I'm walking by here. I don't really want to play at this loop. I might look to actually... Maybe 99 him. Oh, he's dropping pallets early. Okay. Are you a whole W gamer? Ooh, you definitely are. Hell yeah. Let me still drop this pallet too, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not. Do you have dead hard? Does not seem to be the case. That's alright. That's a good start off to the game. We got one down. Uh, he's working on that. Let's come over here instead. Thankfully, I already noticed him. If he would have played that a little stealthier, he probably would have got that. That would have been really scary for me. Hey, dude. What's going on, man? That was kind of silly. Yeah, I want to break this pallet and then move on. I didn't get any value from barbecue and chili, so I wasn't paying attention. I'll push him over back that way. Just kind of get an idea for where everyone's at. We have a pallet here, okay. One survivor there, okay. Another survivor over to my left, it looked like. So, this guy, they're really greeting it, to be honest. Okay, nice. If I can get her just a little bit more stocked. Just a bit more. We can get ourselves a nice little down. Okay. There we go. 
She's quite out in the open, but she still might get to a loop. Oh, she's going for this. It's kind of risky. Unfortunate for you. Solid start. These guys are also on gens, which is exactly what I like to see. It looks like they took a moment to heal up. We'll use barbecue and chili to see if they maybe go for that totem. If I can keep ruin up a little bit longer, I'll be pretty happy. It looks like he didn't really notice the ruin, which is really good for us. One survivor inside. Go around this way. How's it going, Quentin? Nice to see that you're looking better here. He's going for the safe ballot, all right. You're going to drop it. Oh, buddy. Buddy, you got mind gamed a little too easily there. You hate to see it. But I will gladly take my third stack of barbecue and chili and no way out. One, two. There's two survivors over here working. Let me... Yeah, let me go here. One was injured and she was moving or making her way over here. If I can get a good angle, I can definitely get some crazy stock value, I think. It's a little risk. There we go. She'll have to drop this pallet pretty soon. Yeah. See if we can just get her maybe to drop pallets. That might be really helpful. If we can get her to drop like two or three pallets right away, that'd be amazing. I think I misplayed it. We'll see. No, we're fine. She goes for it again. Oh, you messed up. You tried coming back for it. That's unfortunate. Hey, can you get off that, Jen? Oh, wow. You really ran. Okay. Cool. Cool. That will be our fourth stack of No Way Out. And our fourth stack of barbecue and chili. Hell yeah. It's exactly what we want to see. Okay, one survivor over there. We have one who seems to be looking for the totem. So, I'm actually going to go through the corn this time. Just because I saw him crouch. Looks like he was maybe looking out for me. I'm wearing all black out here. This is rough. Can I maybe get a stock through the stock? No, he moved. He went over this way. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure where he went off to. He ran over here, but then kind of moved away. He could have walked back that way. Well, that would have been unfortunate. Let's go back over here. Because we know they're at hook. We know. Oh, hey, how's it going? I ain't getting that, am I? Uh, I got stuck. Oh, no. Her moving over here, though, is really good. Because we already got rid of this pallet. And we have another survivor who was just working here. Smart pathing. This is a lot better because she can hold W after I hit her. Yep. And she'll just go straight that way. Definitely a better way of going. And we're just going to turn it. And come back over here. Yep, there we go. I'm going to see if I can maybe get a stock here. Okay. Hey, buddy. There we go. Duh, he doesn't get that, but he does get pallet, I think. Yep, okay. I was really hoping he wouldn't. Smart little read. Okay, let's break it. I don't want to waste a ton of time trying to mind game him at a place like this. Uh, he gets this. We can angle off maybe and catch him out. Yeah, let's just do this. He's not going to drop it immediately, is he? Yeah, okay. Good. Again, we want to break these for later anyways. I'm totally okay with that. And then we'll we'll veer off now. Because, oh. Hey, what's up? Have fun healing that up again. Bye. Double check this gen over here. I don't think they're here, though, because the totem's here. Yeah. We got one guy who's definitely over there on this gen. They're moving around. There it is. Okay. All the information, dude. I love it. Hi. It's funny what happens when you actually just, like, stop chasing survivors as a stealth killer. They still think you're on them for, like, the longest time. All right. Quick cook up here. Uh, I'll hide myself. Yeah, let's do that. And I don't know if I can really do anything with Steve here. And I think he has spine chill, so it's even a little more worrisome. Mm. 
Nice. We have a moment. Can I maybe get him away from this set area? If I can just get him to the next... Yeah. I need to move him along here. Where is he playing around? There we go. Now it's an easy peasy down. His teammate could have came and looked for a, a save, but he decided not to, I guess. There we go. They're running pretty pretty smooth. I'm going to stop this real quick. Hey, will you drop this pallet for me? Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right. He'll probably go look to try and sabotage another hook. He does have that toolbox. Ooh, I don't think he can stop this, though. I'm right here on this, unless he was already there. We have that over there, too. We're good. We're golden. It was a rough start, but we got a three gen. These guys were doing gens for the sake of doing gens. They didn't really think about what gens they were doing or why. There we go. Damn. She noticed it. Unfortunate. That's all right. I do want to head back more this way. Because they were working on this, and this gem was almost done. Ah, there it is. Darn. Can I maybe punish this? Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. We can punish that. Hell, yeah, man. All the value. We've hooked... We've got a lot of hooks. This is kind of the whole point of this build. Like, Ruin has stayed up a lot of these games, which is really surprising. But... Outside of that, we've almost two hooked everybody, and we've kind of been really chill about this whole game so far. Uh, she's out of the game if I can get her hooked, which I might be able to. She didn't dead hard last time, but I think it's because I caught her off guard. Nope. Okay. I couldn't remember what she had. She might have had sprint burst soon. I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, we can quick hook here and then look to grab the other survivors out. And two of them are 50% stocked, which is perfect. Oh, there they go. You think they look to go to this gen, I think? I mean, it makes sense, right? Let me hide here. Get a nice little angle, maybe. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a smooth down. We got a lot of good stocks off this game. More than I thought we would on an open map like this. But I think over this these three days, we've really gotten a lot better at finding these little stock positions. And I think the Viper skin face just, like, hides it so much better. There we go. They only got one more gen to do. The thing is, can they get that gen done? There we go. Get that nice stock off, and then we'll see where she's going to play. She can't play around anything here. She's in trouble. You don't have anything. Yeah. Exactly. We'll quickly hook up and see where Barbecue and Chili's at. I'll go ahead and come over this way. I don't think he's over here. But I'm down. Yeah, there's not even progress on it. The only thought is that he goes for the save. Or he's looking for Hatch. Oh, here he is. He went to the basement. No, he came out of the basement. He was looking for key, and then he jumped through the window. Yep, okay. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, wow. I really didn't think you had borrowed. We'll go this way instead. He's almost 99, and I need to give them time anyways to finish that gen. If they want it, I can really greed this out. Hey, buddy. Thanks, man. Now you're in trouble. He only has one loop to make, and that's going to be at the uh, vault here. No, he doesn't get there in time, though. I'm uh, Yeah, I'm just going to follow suit. Yep. And now he goes down. And there we go. That's going to be the 11th hook. I'm just going to go ahead and hook. I really don't care if they get out on that last gen. There she goes. Look at her just run, man. 
She's going for it. Oh. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna keep the hatch open for a second. A lot of fun's kind of just in seeing what's going on. Scratch marks. No more scratch marks, though. She kind of just stopped. Makes me think maybe she hopped in the locker. Nope. Alright, I guess I'll go close it. On the bright side, though, I did see it right away, so... I wanted to give it a risk, and if I could see her, I was just gonna chase her and see if she would get it. Oh. Unfortunate. That was a nice try, though. 10 out of 10. Yeah, Ruin just straight up staying in the game. I'm really surprised. I think the only reason Ruin stayed, though, is because they literally never went in this main building to work on the generator. It's not extremely well hidden. They just never went there, so RNG was in favor. Because it was right here. Like, this is a pretty standard to get to this gen. And there we go. Got ourselves another nice GG's. Um, we didn't get used a lot of value of No Way Out today, uh, but that's fine. That's kind of the whole point is the idea that Ruin does a lot of value for you. And if it ever does get cleansed, you can rely on having an extra minute in the game when they decide to go for it. We managed to get Rancor to work, which is really beautiful. Um, this has been a lot of fun. I did three games, which is more than normal. That's because I really do enjoy this build. I could see this becoming more of a, like a semi-meta build. I think it has everything you really could want in it. And I think it kind of teaches good habits anyways and buys you that time without you having to feel stressed if Ruin decides to go away. So I'll break down the build just really quick. And that is going to be Hex Ruin, Barbecue and Chili, No Way Out, and Rancor. Uh, two of the perks that you might not hear a lot that you, I don't really use a lot, but I'm going to start using more. Uh, it's going to be No Way Out. Uh, when a survivor interacts with an exit gate switch, they will I will receive a loud noise notification. The entity then will block off both exit gate switches for 12 seconds plus an additional 12 seconds for each token in my possession. And for a token, it's just whenever I first took a survivor. So you can get a max of four tokens or a max of a minute on that uh, exit gate, which is, a, which is amazing, especially when you combine it with Rancor. This is why you don't see me focusing down the obsession too much. If they get in my way, yeah, I'll hit them. But I'm not going to go out of my way to try and kill them. I actually, I, you can pretty much ignore your obsession if you really want to. Uh, as long as you have someone else to chase. The Rancor, what it allows you to do is you become obsessed with one survivor. Each time a generator is completed, the obsession will see me. Unless I am stealth, then they won't be able to see me. And then each time, of course, the gen is completed as well, all survivors' locations are revealed to me on top of that. Once the generators are all completed, the obsession is exposed for the remainder of the game, and I can outright kill them. Doesn't matter how many times I've hooked them. This is, an, is a really fun perk, but I think with when it's combined with No Way Out and you have Ruin Barbecue, it makes for a really aggressive build and just gives you a lot of everything you kind of need. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed this build. I heavily recommend it in your guys' games. Uh, as always, though, much love, and until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.